Yankees fans, what is up? What is up? Like always, it is Felix from nynews.com. Like always, hola como estas? If you are sensitive, X this video out right now. Remember when A-Rod, his last season as a Yankee, in my opinion, he was uh, let go like a dog, okay? A-Rod was forced to retire because he was batting. 200 and really coming back from a season where he carried the Yankees to the playoffs in 2015. Sure, that's laughable. 200. All right, 200. And he had a bit of production left, DH. And I could get they were trying to get younger, rebuild, or whatever. But, but, take a look at the 2018 Yankees. Take a look at Greg Bird. Okay, I'm not even going to talk about Gary Sanchez because Gary Sanchez is at this point the Yankees need him. Okay, they need him to come back and contribute. Obviously, Luis Severino, he pitches better to Gary Sanchez. Okay, so I'm not even going to talk about Gary Sanchez and his batting average. Greg Bird. Okay, I love Greg Bird. I can see the potential. He looks like uh, John Olerud. He looks like all these other great first basemen that hit for average, power, RBIs, etc. But, but, Greg Bird is going around smiling. Greg Bird is going around like nothing bothers him. Greg Bird has a lot of confidence. Great, he has a lot of confidence. But Greg Bird is batting what? I don't even have the average in front of me. Last I checked was like 212, okay? And A-Rod, like I said, he was forced to retire because he was batting 200. Yeah, I know it's a joke. He was old, right? But at least he had the passion to win, okay? At least the Yankees kept Chisera. They let him ride out towards the sunset. I know the Yankees didn't have room to call up all these players and have A-Rod. I understand. But they were still paying his contract. And the excuse, yet again, was that the Yankees were getting younger. And they did, okay? But if you are going to, let's say, make a player of the caliber of A-Rod, to retire mid-season, you know, forget about his accomplishments because he was caught with PDs, whatever. But Aaron, in my opinion, is a MLB legend. Okay, so he was forced to retire because his batting average was 200. Yet these other Yankees get a pass because I don't know the front office likes them. Okay, but this is a team. In the offseason, that said, we're going to win the World Series this year. World Series are bust. How a player like Greg Bird, how is he batting 211, 212, and he's going around smiling? He's going around like he runs things. Because, like I said, the front office must love him. The real point of this video is that current players on the Yankees are too comfortable when, let's say, they're batting close to 200 and other players of the caliber of A-Rod batted 200 and he was forced to retire. In other words, the Yankees forgot how to lay down the hammer. Okay, Maybe it's because of the manager. Who knows? Maybe because Joe Girardi was more strict. But this is the point of this video. The Yankees forgot how to lay down the hammer. So I'm just calling out hypocrisy. If you are a World Series team, then where are the moves being made where you obtain another bat because Gary Sanchez's average is about the same range where Greg Bird is at, but um, it's lower at 188, okay? When he gets back, he's lucky if he hits 220 to 230 or 215. Where is the other bat to add to replace, let's say, a Greg Bird? a Aaron Judge, a Gary Sanchez. Where is the talk of the Yankees being in dialogue with the O's to obtain, let's say, an Adam Jones? It's nowhere. The Yankees have become cheap, okay? And when I say cheap, they don't want to trade their prospects. Sure, I can see them holding on to Sheffield, Florio, etc. But they're not even approaching teams and saying, hey, we're going to offer you so-and-so. Just pay the remainder salary of the player you just put on waivers. And we'll make the deal. They're not even doing that. You know why? Because next season, they're, they're going to skip out on um, Corbin. 
and they're just going to go with Sheffield because their new game plan is saving money when they're the richest sports franchise in the world next to the New York Knicks. The Yankees are number one, okay? So, again, I asked this question. You forced A-Rod to retire. Just take a look at the Yankees lineup up and down. Look at the averages. Look at the production. Like I said, their record does not reflect the level of play we've seen this season. Nobody has surprised me. Just one player in particular, Miguel Endor, and maybe Torres here and there. Okay? So look up and down. The hypocrisy is off the charts. There's no, let's say, rules. Players are doing what they want to do. When I was on vacation, I heard that Greg Bird was distracted by a woman in the stands. And the same player is going around smiling, giggling, etc., saying that he plays Fortnite all the time. Sure, that's not bad, right? You, you could do whatever you want. You're a superstar. You're a professional sports athlete, right? But when you're hitting 211 and you're not contributing, maybe with defense, there's no excuse to go around smiling, giggling, being happy. Maybe Greg Bird loves his life. Maybe that's his personality. But when you're giving interviews and coming off as nonchalant and not caring, this raises red flags to me with the type of player Greg Bird is. It means that the Yankees front office has pampered him to the point where he feels confident enough to do whatever he likes, to say whatever he likes, to do whatever the hell he feels like doing, to look at females in the stands, be distracted, okay? There are certain players on this team that have been pampered. Like I said, you could forget about Gary Sanchez. He's another one that, ha that has been pampered. Just uh, sweep his uh, struggles under the rug, right? But Greg Bird, Greg Bird is not contributing. He's a left-handed bat that the Yankees need in that lineup. Like I said, Sure, he's struggling, but where's the talk about the Yankees obtaining another bat for their lineup? Like I said on this channel, I originally said Judge would be out for six to eight weeks. People said, what are you smoking? Are you crazy? I mean, it's common sense. When you break or fracture your wrist, that takes maybe close to two months or three months. Okay? So for the Yankees to say to their fan base, I love the Yankees. I love Brian Cashman. I love the Steinbrenner family. I think they're great. I like all these other guys in the front office, okay? But to tell your fan base that he's going to be out for three weeks, knowing that it was BS in the first place, either their health department, whatever that's called, doesn't know what they're doing because we all saw Jacoby Ellsbury go down, Brandon Jury go down, uh, Clint Frazier go down. So either the Yankees medical staff is not doing their jobs or – Yankees fans are being taken as fools, okay? They're being taken as fools for this simple fact alone, that the Yankees do not want to spend, and they're making excuses not to spend and acquire other players, which we all know they desperately need, okay? So you force A-Rod to retire, okay? But it just proves the point that you guys are cheap, that the Yankees are cheap, and not making it a point that they want to add another bat. A player like Adam Jones being available and the Yankees not even approaching the idea is laughable. Adam Jones has a low strikeout rate. Adam Jones is batting, what, 284 or something like that? He would be a great addition to fill in there while Aaron Judge is out. And plus, he could still play after he returns. So if you're the Yankees, why are you not making these moves? Why are you betting on Shane Robinson? Why are you betting at this point on Greg Bird? Why are you betting on all these other players? It's easy. The Yankees do not want to give up their prospects. They are setting them up to replace other players that are coming off of the books because they don't want to pay millions of dollars. That's their new recipe. And if I were the Yankees, I would make it clear. Stop giving these Yankees fans hope and just come out and say, hey, we're not going to get Patrick Corbin. We're just going to go with Sheffield next season because that's where the Yankees are headed. And by them not even adding a bat when they need to add a bat, forget about starting pitching. This, just, this is just laughable, okay? 
the Yankees are the most historic franchise in sports history. And for them to be doing this, it's just laughable. Come out and tell your fan base that you're not going to make these upgrades because of now you are giving this fan base false hope. Because we all know if the Yankees don't add a bat or maybe another starting pitcher, they're not going to win the World Series. Period. They're not. They're losing to teams like the Rays. Sure, the Rays are pesky. They beat the Red Sox. They beat the Yankees. They beat good teams. But the Yankees are supposed to go out and win these games. So like I said, A-Rod forced to retire in midseason for batting 200. Greg Bird is batting, what, 211? No contributions at whatsoever offensively. It's a joke, okay? And it's not mentioning that they should have added a bat after Aaron Judge got injured, okay? So that's all I have to say. Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think about this video? Do you think the Yankees are just being cheap? And when I mean cheap, not giving away prospects because they are setting them up to replace players coming off the books next season. Like I said, I don't see Patrick Corbin being a Yankee. I see the Yankees going with Sheffield. They're, they're not going to spend money. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I'll share, like, and subscribe. And I'll